Well, hey there, how are you doing? Better than I deserve. If you've listened to Dave Ramsey before, you've heard him say that a thousand times. Uh, every time he is asked, how are you doing, Dave? Better than I deserve. That's what I want to talk about today in our devotion. And I'm thinking about Numbers chapter 12, when Moses' uh, brother and sister kind of got jealous of him. And in verse 2, this is Numbers 12, verse 2, uh, they say, Has the Lord spoken only through Moses? They asked. Hasn't he also spoken through us? It can be really hard for us, uh, I think for all of us, to see someone else uh, who has something that we want very much, and uh, we don't always handle that very well. And maybe we try to convince ourselves that uh, the people around us aren't just uh, worthy of having what they've been given. And this is where Arian and Miriam, what did I say, Arian? Huh, Aaron. Aaron and Miriam. Uh, are looking at Moses and they're trying to undermine his position as a leader and mainly because of his Cushite wife. It's another Bible study for another day, but the point is they were uh, jealous. Well, have you ever heard people say something like, oh, she doesn't deserve him or uh, yeah, they don't deserve that house. Uh, he doesn't deserve that job. Uh, maybe, maybe you even said that of yourself. Well, uh, when we speak in those terms, what we're trying to say is that I do, right? I do deserve a spouse like that, or I deserve a house like that. I deserve a job like that. God, just give me what I deserve. Well, when we're spending so much time analyzing and criticizing and dissecting what, what other people have, we're not giving our attention to what we've been given. We're not giving attention to our vocations, to our responsibilities, to our callings in life. So the young people out there, uh, when we argue with our parents and when we dismiss their advice and complain about their rules, we are forgetting <laughs> who made them the parent and who made them or made us the children. Uh, fellow employees out there right now, you know, when we're snarky about our bosses or insubordinate and they ask us to do something, we're forgetting how they got to be our bosses. And when we stick it to our government leaders or our teachers or anybody else in our society that deserves our respect, like police officers, for example. Uh, we are forgetting that God has given them a job to do and he's given us a job to do as well. And the fact is that none of us really deserve any of those callings in life or anything else that's good. Our sinful self-centeredness really means that all we deserve is an angry God and a hellish future. Now, when we face that prospect, our prayer quickly changes, doesn't it? God, please don't give me what I truly deserve. And in mercy, God doesn't. Our gracious God gave to Jesus the punishment that we deserve. And he gives to us the love that Jesus deserves. And that's a great gift. And he doesn't even stop there. Right? In addition, he gives us all kinds of other things that we haven't earned or deserved. Like, like the privilege of being called a mommy or daddy. Uh, the opportunity to work so that our needs can be provided for, and the true honor of being a friend, a citizen, a church member and disciple, a volunteer. 
So how are you doing today? Better than you deserve. Praise God. Let's pray. Gracious, gracious Heavenly Father, in love, you do not give us what we truly deserve. Thank you. Uh, continue to look in mercy upon us. Give us contentment. Give us joy in our callings as we seek to serve you and our neighbor. Amen. All right. Have a great rest of the day and hope to see you Sunday in person or online. <laughs>